In 1943, the following directive was issued from party headquarters to all communists in the United States. It read, when certain obstructionists become too irritating, label them after suitable buildups as fascist or Nazi or anti-Semitic and use the prestige of anti-fascist and tolerance organizations to discredit them. In the public mind, constantly associate those who oppose us with those names which already have a bad smell. The association will, after enough repetition, become fact in the public mind. Just as he loses more sponsors over those anti-Semitic comments comes an allegation he once praised Adolf Hitler during a TV appearance, but it was edited out. A shocking new allegation against Kanye West. Did he have a sick obsession with Hitler? He wanted to call the album Hitler and that it was really like the final hours before the album was going to come out that his camp was able to successfully get him to switch it to Yay, which is what it was called. Former TMZ employee Van Lathan says in a new podcast, he was there when it happened. He said something like, I love Hitler, I love Nazis, um, something to that effect when he was there. And they took it out of the interview. One of the producers at TMZ actually stood up and said, I'm... Jewish, and that is offensive to me, what you just said. I spoke to CNN entertainment reporter Chloe Malas. We spoke to a former member of Kanye's entourage who was there at TMZ with Kanye and actually heard Kanye say those things about Hitler. It's the latest firestorm over Kanye West's anti-Semitic comments as major companies announce they have cut all ties with him. With Kanye West essentially losing all of his business connections, apparently Kyrie Irving saw that and thought, I could use some of that in my life. This is the owner of the team that Kyrie plays for. I'm disappointed that Kyrie appears to support a film based on a book full of anti-Semitic disinformation. I want to sit down and make sure he understands this is hurtful to all of us. And as a man of faith, it is wrong to promote hate based on race, ethnicity or religion this is bigger than basketball and i think this second line is important it makes me think that he might actually get removed if he keeps it up this is not his first rodeo with controversy to say the least so what did he do he posted this no text but to this movie okay on amazon it's on amazon it's available you can watch it and what happens in this movie well it seems to be mostly steeped in black, Hebrew, Israelite type content, which is something Kanye West has been steeping himself into. Now, the Southern Poverty Law Center describes these claims as, the movement generally coalesces around the notion that black people are the real descendants of ancient Israelites with more extreme factions claiming that black people have been robbed of their identity as being God's chosen people. A way that I see a lot of people describe it is, it ends up essentially being, for many of the believers, a black supremacy movement. Now, in the movie itself that was linked, the movie promotes the idea of Jewish slave ships, a whole bunch of other anti-Semitic content, such as that racism against black people was started by Jewish texts, and that Jewish people are working with Satan to deceive the world, it is exactly what you would expect from basically white supremacy text changing the color of the skin. Which is why a lot of people refer to these people as black supremacists. You'll also find it, it seems really steeped, a lot of it mixes into a lot of flat earth stuff for some reason. When I looked into flat earth content, a lot of this mixed in. Now, he did make another statement after this. To my tribe, be still and know I am all the sacred names of God. Don't just read this, affirm it right now. Say it through your heart. I am all the sacred names of God. Your turn. I am Yahweh, Jehovah, Kyrie, Jah, Elohim, and all other names, one soul. Yeah, 
Uh, I, I get the feeling he's not going to back down on this one, and we're probably going to see photos, give it a week, two weeks, of him sitting with Kanye West together, in person, deciding what to do. And the idea of DEF CON was to get protected for a time like this. Let's lead with love. I have no association to any hate group. If any hate happens upon any Jewish person, it is not associated because I am demanding that everyone walk in love.